and with summer vacation just around the corner, we are taking you on all kinds of adventures all over the country, and it is the finale of Where's Gurky Going? That's right, Paul is living it up in New York City right now, and what a great view, Paul, man. It is amazing out there. The views anywhere you go in New York City, especially when you're higher up, are absolutely fantastic. And honestly, it's been a heck of a ride so far. And one of the coolest things I got to do was stop by the set of NBC Nightly News. You're familiar with that program, right, guys? I mean, it is on right after 12 News at 5. Anyway, it starts at 530 if you need to set the DVRs at home. It's been anchored by Lester Holt since June of 2015. It is the most watched news program in the country, around 9.3 million viewers on average every night. Holt is the anchor, but he is so much more than that. I had a chance to stop by Rockefeller Center to talk to him about life outside of the bright lights. Where's Gurky going? Uh, to the set of nightly news with Lester Holt. <laughs> Lester, I feel like this is a Stanley Cup situation where I shouldn't sit at this desk until I've earned it. Do you it, ever it, feel that way? No, it's not. You know, I, I always worry when people think it's some kind of an altar. It's just a, it's just another glass desk like you probably have. <laughs> There's no no candles, cups of water, I suppose. No, there is a security cut. I'm not sure how you got, <laughs> how you got in here. <laughs> Lester, we've been learning a lot about you over the last few days. Uh, you appeared on the Today Show and uh, revealed a little of the softer side of you away from work. Um, let's talk a little bit about that. Let's start with the band. When did you start, start playing music? Oh, well, I started playing music when I was in junior high school. I uh, mostly grew up in Northern California and wanted to be in the school, you know, jazz choir and jazz band. So I bought a bass at a pawn shop, a couple books and figured it out. Then a few years ago, a bunch of my colleagues at Dateline, we were at a party and started talking about musical talent. And we discovered we had a lot of people in the room that played instruments and we said, let's jam someday. So we rented a studio here in Midtown Manhattan and, and played and realized that you know we've got a all right. pretty decent group and so we kind of formed a band and we you know we do gigs every several months because you know we've got these daytime jobs but it's been a, it's been a real blast these daytime jobs you ever think about ripping that microphone off and running away and just playing music the rest of your life <laughs> you know there have been some days <laughs> I, I do love this job but every once in a while there's one of those days i just want to go play my bass <laughs> yeah you got people following in your footsteps now i heard you're about to become a grandfather again yes times two yeah i've got uh you see my first is about 20 months old now and then another one on the way here another month or so so we're we're Tremendously excited. Have you fallen into any grandfather tropes yet? Are there any really like grandpa things that you enjoy doing? Uh, it's just, I like being silly. I like being silly in any way, but now that I have a, a, a baby in the family to justify it, where I don't look quite as like an idiot, <laughs> uh, I, I love to make people laugh. I love to make him laugh. And, uh, you know, he's just getting to that stage now. The words are starting to come out here and there, and he's, he's a little comedian. I have two sons. The younger one works here in the neighborhood in finance, and then Stefan, the older one, works at WNBC, which shares the same building. So I run into him in the hallway. Uh, I go every afternoon on his broadcast at 4 o'clock to promote what's coming up on Nightly News. And very often it's him standing next to me and throwing to me. And it's always a little weird. I'm like, is he going to say dad today? <laughs> every, every once in a while he'll throw in, uh, OK, dad, I'll see you soon. Do you ever take a second to back away from this chair and think about where your place is in the pantheon of NBC broadcasters? Every day. Uh, yeah. yeah, right. yeah, yeah no, and really, I, I, yesterday I was sitting in my office. And I, I don't remember what triggered it, but I had one of those moments. Moments like, man, I'm the anchor of NBC Nightly News. You know, I mean, it's weird, right? Yeah, because you know, I watched, you know, I watched John Chancellor do this, Tom Brokaw. I mean, you know, they, I don't want to make myself overly self-important. I mean, it's it's an important newscast. It's people don't rely on these newscasts. Let's be honest, the same way they did when I was coming up, you know, in the '60s, because we have so many other outlets for news. But it's still an important uh, appointment-based broadcast. People. You know, they check their, their watches and they sit down. If the newscast thing doesn't work out for you, just say that you're the proud purveyor of Lester Holt's Instagram. And then, you know, maybe you'll connect to the next generation that way. Yeah, maybe so. You know, so, social media, I'm always the slow guy on social media. But the Instagram has been, you know, fun to share, you know, parts of my life that, you know, uh, I may not be able to share on this broadcast. As you may know, I did a weekend Today Show. This broadcast, obviously, you know, it, it's very, we've got 30 minutes or precious minutes. The news is, is what we're all about. So you don't get the same opportunities to kind of let your hair down. I'll let you get back to your precious minutes. Thanks for taking the time. What a pleasure. Thanks for pleasure. stopping by. Thanks. Security? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There was some sincerity in his voice when he said it was a pleasure to have me there, and they didn't really call security. That's just an old news trick. 
Lester was absolutely fantastic, and we couldn't squeeze everything into that interview we just showed you here on First at Four. Go to 12news.com. We posted the unedited interview with Lester, and there are some absolute gems in there. You could also go to my Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram page to see all of the features we did this morning on Today in AZ and some extra behind-the-scenes content as well. I'm back coming up at 4.30 with one more piece live from New York City for Where's Gurky Going? All right. Oh, I love yeah, that right. interview, Paul. Yeah, great, great job. That was an awesome interview. Thanks a lot, Paul. We'll see you in a bit.